Hey guys, what's going on? EP Jamie here, and today we're gonna do a top three upcoming games video, um, like EP Can Official did on his channel. So, um, let's begin. First up, we have No Man's Sky. Now, this one's gonna be interesting for EP to play, and well, most of us, all of us, are gonna, you know play it together and it'd be interesting to upload onto YouTube uh, it's got to be my top uh, it's got to be my favourite coming up this year can't get it till September 6th but you know it's uh, interesting the way that EP's put it all together uh, for example we, we all have our different roles and if we can meet up which I know it's going to be incredibly hard to do um, then we will do everything that we planned. If we can't meet up, then it will just be a fun game to play uh, and record. Next up, we have Lego Star Wars The Force Awakens. Now, this one was a surprise on my list because uh, I didn't really want to get this until, you know, I I kind of remembered playing uh, the, the last three Lego Star Wars games and... Yeah, th they were probably my favourite games back back at the time, apart from Black Ops 2 and Halo Reach. So it's um, it'd be quite interesting to play again. Um, and you know, I, I got the hype. I could do a walkthrough um, for my YouTube channel. So well, I'm definitely going to do a, YouTube, uh, a walkthrough for that. So you can stay tuned for that whenever the game comes out, or whenever I have enough money. I'll, I'll give you some good warning before I start the. Uh, the walkthrough. Last but not least, we have Battlefield 5. And um, not much is known about this yet, apart from the fact that it's probably going to be in World War 1. Um, but whatever they're doing with it, um, it'll be probably one of the best EP roleplay games yet, probably, because we. It'd be interesting for the ground force infantry going over the trenches and stuff. Um, the Mark V tanks rolling over the over the battlefield. Uh, it'd be interesting to see how sniper gameplay kind of turns out. Um, air combat should be fun for my lot, and naval combat should be very interesting. So those were my top three upcoming games for this year. I'm not really interested in Watch Dogs 2. Um, I, well, I enjoyed Watch Dogs 1, but we never really played it. And um, you know, we kind of gave up on it after about two months. So then, then we got GTA, so there's no need to play like Watch Dogs anymore. Alright, that's it everyone, thanks for watching, goodbye.